Hello everyone, today uh, we'll talk about how to create an interlock uh, on Centum VP system. For that purpose, firstly we open System View window and under that we choose our project training. We choose our FCS block, then we choose our function block and we pick up one of them, it doesn't matter which one, just the first one. Then uh, we just add our function block. Insert it uh, under sequence table. There are uh, two versions: sequence, sequence tables and logic chart. Today uh, we'll create uh, our interlock uh, on ST16 block. So we name it like ST16 under slash one. Okay, enter. So um, for programming it, we just right click on it and then edit detail. Yeah, it opens a window uh, which uh, in this window we can program our interlock, we can configure it. We have three sections here basically. We have condition sections and totally we have 32 conditions and also we have action section. We have 32 actions and also we have rules. Rules. So totally we can use 64 IO signals, mm, conditions, actions, rows. And there is um, one section like process timing. And if you want to change it, there is one button. Uh, it is uh, about start timing, output timing, and etc. By default, we choose periodic execution. It means it will execute uh, continuously. But we can choose also one shot processing type. It means it will just execute once and also it can execute at initial and etc. We choose that one. So, okay. Um, for writing an interblock, firstly we need, to, we need to choose if we will use switch, or for example, common switch, or we will use uh, other IO channels. So, um, today I'll um, show how to use switch. So, I Choose switch, switch definition. Too. So I write tag names like switch run, for example, and it will uh, run, stop run. Okay, I change the button green, then switch, uh, switch latched, and also switch unlatched. Uh, on off, okay, but I change colors, green, so I save them. So I added uh, three switches, as we see, zero error, so it's okay, I close it. Uh, then uh, again, function block, that one, so edit detail, I have, yeah, so I call it switch run dot pv on. Yes, I'll explain it. Switch latched at PV latched H. Yes, and also switch unlatched at PV unlatched. Yes, so what does it mean? It means um, if our condition switch run, it's PV if it is on, uh, as we know, on or uh, toggle calls like that if it is on. Mm, yes, uh, our mm, two actions uh, will be executed like switch latched and switch unlatched PVs will be on. Uh, if it is yes and on the side if they are yes, it means these actions will be executed. Okay, but uh, there is a little difference because it is uh, latched signal. H means latched in your programming system, but L means unlatched. Um, latch signal means uh, if it is one, it will be one also. If it is zero, it it will not affect. It will be one um, to the final stop. But um, the unlatched signal uh, follows input signal. I will explain it deeply in next sections. So I just update it and close it. Then I save it. Okay. So. I wrote all the programs, all configuration in that block, st16 under slash 1. So
so zero error ok that's good and I open my HIS ok I call um, just switch run ok then uh, switch latched ok then switch unlatched ok so I just stop them all of them if this run uh, nothing will happen because uh, firstly I should call st16 standard slash one that block which is our programming block but uh, we see it is in manual mode firstly we should ch um, change it to auto mode then they will work so I stop it I change it to auto mode and now it is uh, auto mode if it is run they both will be run unlatch signal and latch signal but if it is stop our latch signal will be on but our unlatch signal will follow, follow input signal if it is run again it will follow stop stop run run it means unlatched signal just follows the uh, input signal but latch signal latch signal if it is on it will be on but then it will not be changed okay